Welcome to a tutorial on how to solve first order initial value problems using the TI-89 graphing calculator. We'll be using the DE cell function under the calculus menu in order to solve these initial value problems. So let's first press F3 for the calculus menu. The DE cell function is the very last function in this menu. So instead of pressing down, we can press up and notice how we have DE solve here as option C. So because this is highlighted, we'll press enter. And now we enter the differential equation, y prime equals 2x. So y prime is second equals. Then we have equals 2x. And now we enter and the initial condition. So for and, we go to the catalog. So we'll press the catalog button. Notice here's the and. And the triangle is already next to the and. So we press enter. Now we enter y of 1 equals 3. So y with a 1 in parentheses equals 3, comma, the independent variable, which is x, comma, the dependent variable, which is y, close parenthesis, and enter. The particular solution is y equals x squared plus 2. Looking at the next differential equation, we do need to enter y natural log x as y times natural log x. So press F3, up, enter. dy dx is y prime, so y second equal sign for y prime equals y times natural log x. For natural log x, we enter second x for the natural log, x close parenthesis. And now we need to enter and y of 1 equals 2. So catalog, the cursor is already next to and, so enter. And then y of 1 equals 2, comma x, comma y, close parenthesis, and enter. The solution is y equals 2 times x raised to the power of x times e raised to the power of 1 minus x. Looking at our last example, notice how we have dy dt here, which means t is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. So we'll press F3, up, enter. So we have t times dy dt is still y prime, so y second equal sign plus y equals sine t. Sine t is second to y, t close parenthesis, now we enter and y of 2 equals 1. So catalog, the and is selected, so enter. And then we have y of 2 equals 1, comma, the independent variable is now t, comma, the dependent variable is y, close parenthesis, and enter. So looking at the particular solution, we could distribute the negative to eliminate the parentheses in the numerator, which would give us y equals 2 plus cosine 2 minus cosine t all over t. Let's go ahead and write it in that form. I hope you found this helpful.